les sardines, les anchois, les sardines, anchovies, cod, have kept our society fed ever since the 15th century. Resources seem to be inexhaustible. Here we have a beautiful Roman mosaic. Man is tapping into the Mediterranean resources. The resources seem to be abundant, very abundant, very diversified. There is huge biodiversity. Grotius in 1609 wrote, Mare Liberum. Mare Liberum is the first legal document regarding uh, the expanse of sea and the fact that uh, fishing is a free activity because uh, the resources are inexhaustible. Ever since that time, humankind has thought that the resources of the sea were inexhaustible. 1883, a very important period because people started for the first time to think about regulating uh, fishing and uh, thought about preserving marine resources. Thomas Huxley, who was Darwin's friend during the international exhibition in London in 1883 said, nothing we can do or will impact the number of fishes. There are many, many fishes in the sea and we can fish as many as we wish because they reproduce very fast. But ever since the 1950s, in the modern era, our appetite for marine resources have grown, has grown and the number of catches has increased in a phenomenal way, between the 50s and today, we have gone from 10, 15 million tons to 80 million tons and even more. Now, we have a curve showing uh, the evolution of catches, uh, and catches have stabilized uh, in the 90s, but stabilization happens in spite of the fact that man has increased the effort to fish. Now, when we talk about the fishing effort, we're talking about the number of fishermen, the number of fishes, the number of nets, of hooks, of lines, and the uh, progress made by uh, technology implemented to spot fishes. Now, the effort has been multiplied by four, whereas the uh, catch curve uh, has remained stable, which means that we're overfishing. We're now tapping into the capital and no longer the natural interests. The reproduction uh, of the natural population, which means that uh, many components have decreased in numbers, and the components which are mainly targeted are the big fishes, uh, sharks, sword uh, fishes, tuna, all those that have a trade value. We see on this curve the decrease in abundance. Uh, versus an era, an era when they were not being caught or fished. And we see, for instance, that some species have decreased uh, between 60, 70, 80, 90 percent of their original abundance. Now, some of those uh, species used to be fished or caught, sea turtles, they have decreased by more than 90 percent, or sharks. In the Mediterranean area, sharks have de sharks abundance has decreased by 99 percent, which means that where there used to be 100 sharks, there is only one left. An overall decrease of the uh, population of large fishes. The marine environment has changed. It has changed over time. And we see that the species abundance tends to decrease, uh, especially those which are preferentially targeted. Ecosystems are poorer. And fishing is now focusing on uh, some species which are at the bottom of the uh, feeding uh, chain, small fish which reproduce faster sardines, uh, mackerels, anchovies. What happens when those species are being overfished, when they are at the bottom of the trophic scale? What, what is the impact on the ecosystem and the way the ecosystem operates? These small, relatively small fishes or forage fish 
Again, sardine, herring, mackerel play a central role in the uh, marine ecosystem. They serve as prey for large fishes, but also for marine mammals and seabirds. They also have an impact on plankton. They uh, play a regulating role on the abundance of uh, sea plankton. What happens when sardines are being overfished? We have a large-scale experiment with the case of Namibia. Namibia has a very productive ecosystem in the 70s. Namibia produced a huge number of sardines. At the time, there were approximately 10 million tons being fished, 10 million tons of sardines being fished. Now, there was overfishing, and uh, as you can see here, catches have decreased uh, starting in the 1980s, and now the numbers are much smaller. Unfortunately, uh, fishermen continue to overexploit the sardines, and there are very few sardines left. The sardines uh, play an essential role in the ecosystem, and what what happens when the sardines were removed? Nature hates empty spaces. So another component from the ecosystem, which was relatively rare, jellyfish, started proliferating in an uncontrolled way. Between 12 and 40 million tons of jellyfishes settled down in the Namibian ecosystem in a perennial way in the last 30 years. This is what we call a change in the regime. The ecosystem, rather than producing fishes, sardines, produces uh, jellyfishes. You see these two pictures, uh, a strand near Luderitz in Namibia with uh, stranded jellyfishes, and on the right-hand side, jellyfishes in the sea they have become the main plankton now in the ocean. This has direct consequences on the livelihood of fishermen. Nowadays, when you uh, fish, it is necessary to sort out the fishes among the jellyfishes. There are three times more jellyfishes and fishes in the nets, being caught in the nets. But it also has a huge impact on the ecosystem itself. Many predators no longer find any food because there are no sardines left. You can see these two pictures. The uh, penguins and the Cape Town gametes uh, have decreased uh, by 77 and 94% respectively because they had no prey to feed on. On the left-hand side, uh, the picture dates back to 1930. It was taken in Luderitz in Namibia. And the same strand, the same place photographed in the year 2000, there are more penguins. They have simply disappeared. They starved to death because they had nothing to eat. Sardine overfishing has upset the whole ecosystem equilibrium, including all of its components uh, and even seabirds. Implementing an ecosystemic approach would have uh, avoided uh, this jellyfish invasion in the uh, Namibian ecosystem. In South Africa, in a neighboring country, has, uh, for the last 20 years, implemented an ecosystemic approach for fishing, which, uh, with a uh, cautious approach uh, in which everybody participates, when sardines uh, became overexploited, uh, fishing was decreased, and therefore sardines were kept in the ecosystem. And because this measure was implemented in South Africa, general productivity of the marine ecosystem was maintained and fishermen livelihood was also maintained. The ecosystemic approach of fishing allows to preserve biodiversity within the ecosystem, allows to also maintain productivity of the ocean, and by reconciling preservation and an ecosystemic uh, fishing method, we can preserve ocean productivity and we can preserve the ocean's integrity and health. And therefore, we can also preserve all the human activities that uh, rely on the ocean.